more power than they will take, then they will take my power, my power, my power. They'll never take my power, my power, my power. They feel away, oh wow. They feel away, oh wow. Welcome to my channel. It's the one and only Zarya Shakira coming to you live basically with my first official video here on this channel. Some of y'all may already know me from my hair and makeup channel, but if not, hello and welcome. My name is Zarya Shakira. You can call me Z. So basically getting right into this video, I will be doing an unboxing for my newer ring light that I just purchased. So let's get into it. All right, y'all. So this box is humongous. Okay. This thing huge. So I don't know if this is really an official unboxing because I can't really show y'all taking it out the box because like this thing huge. But I'm gonna try my best and show y'all each piece that I do have. Okay, so I've opened up the big box and now there's another box inside. this is a stand because I actually want to mess with the stand first perfect so this is what's at the top of the box um, I don't know what this is hopefully this is easy to put together y'all like I'm not really handy and stuff like that so <sighs> hopefully this goes by smoothly I'm gonna try to put it together for y'all on here but if not y'all know why so let's see we open it like this i think it like opens backwards oh yeah this is the this is the way you're supposed to do it so you open it so like right here is where you can loosen it so you can flip it uh -oh. why is it so hard because this is where the stand is this is the part that the camera and the ring light is supposed to be on. All right, here we go. You do have to unscrew this part right here a lot so it can open. So I'm going to open this thing and it turns just like that. So this is how it stands up. So I like how it's compact, first of all. So when you put it up, it's a little stand. Like, it's very small, so... You just flip it open like that. And don't forget to tighten up this little screw thing so it doesn't um, move when you're filming and whatever. So I'm tightening that. And then the same for, I mean, I know how stands work. I do have a stand already. I actually just bought that so I'm kind of sad that like I ain't gonna really be using it no more because I have this ring light stand that holds my ring light and my camera but it is what it is and yeah so these little screws here adjust the height for the stand so I'm just gonna adjust it probably until y'all can see the top of it take this one unscrew it and then Okay, I think we'll keep it like this. Uh-uh, is this crooked? The leg look crooked. I was about to say, um, newer, I'm gonna have to send this one back. Don't send me no crooked shit. All right, so this is how, this is not as tall as it goes. I'm gonna just lift this one up so y'all can see. So it goes past here. It's probably about like another six to eight inches above my head. So I'm just gonna stop it here though so y'all can see where I put it together and all that. I might lower it just a little bit. Okay. And as y'all can see now from my lighting that I do have, I actually just changed my lights to like the daylight light so it looks more natural. My window is open so that's also letting natural light in. But I do have like a smaller ring light and it's like a yellow tint that I have it on right now. So, so that's the lighting that I am working with right now. I will show y'all after I put the ring light together like with my backdrop how my lighting that I do have now compares to just the ring light lighting so I'm really hoping it's going to be 
um, very different from what I have because my lighting right now is super trash. But with the new lights that I did buy and with this ring light, hopefully my videos can start looking a little more professional. I might get into that in a whole nother video or maybe I'll just do a chit chat with y'all one day. But we're gonna get into this ring light. So pulling it out the box, it comes in a little newer briefcase type thing. So this is definitely handy for travel, okay? As far as the stand, you'll probably just have to carry the stand separately. But the most important part is keeping your ring light safe. And I like that it does come in a little bag like this. So, and it does have an adjustable strap if you want to just carry it on your shoulder. That's cute. So I don't know the first steps of putting this thing together. So I'm going to have to read some directions in a little bit. But taking it out the bag, this is how big the light is. I like that my head can fit in it because that just tells me my camera probably will too. Because y'all, I got a big ass head if y'all didn't know or can't see from here. So, I like that. I don't know about y'all, but I'm like a simp for bags that have like inside pockets. Don't ask. But in this here bag, we have two side pockets and then a little divider to separate whatever you put in here. So, it's very spacious. Like, I can put everything in here that I need. Well, maybe not everything because that ring light is kind of big. But, you know, I'll put the ring light in here as well as anything that comes with it. And I also have other storage to put any other things on the side. So, I like this little bag. Not getting rid of it. So, now we're going to dig into whatever is in this box, which is probably like the little shields. I don't know if that's what they're called, but it's like the little screen type things that go on top so it's not super bright. Okay, so yeah. We got some instructions, cause y'all know I don't know what, what I'm doing. Oh, it has a little clicker. Turn BF up. It's a Bluetooth remote shutter, but I do have one of these, so I don't really know if I'll be able to use it with my camera though, because my camera isn't one of the fancy ones. I got the one just below the fancy ones came out to where you can connect it with the Bluetooth. So I don't think I'll be able to use this. We have instructions. They have a little sheet to tell you what comes in it. It has the dimmable ring light, which I just showed you, a smartphone holder, a Bluetooth receiver, a power adapter, a soft tube, a ball head, a light stand, which is this, I think, yeah, a white and orange color filter set, and a carrying bag. So yeah, that's what I was talking about, the little screens, is the filter set, so it's not super bright and blinding, but it does give you good lighting, so we're about to get into that so we can see what we got, you know? So here is the power adapter thing. You just plug this hole in here. Right, and then I'm assuming that this is gonna plug into the ring light and then you can plug it into your wall. So it does have a good amount of length on it, which I do like because a lot of my lightings can't reach the outlets when I film unless it's plugged up into like an ex extension cord. So glad this is long and hopefully it'll work. So next is the little phone holder. I forgot what I just read off the list, but this holds your phone so I can do videos with my phone if I need to. I also do, like my old stand that I do have, it comes with that as well. So I mean, I've used it before, but with the ring light, it's better because it gives me better lighting. Obviously like my lighting clearly is trash, but hopefully after this is all set up, we're gonna be back in business. I don't really know what this is. Oh, this must be the ball head. So yeah, I'm gonna have to look at these directions. Number six. Yeah, it's the ball head. And then the last thing are the little filter sets. So I'm probably only going to be using this white one because I don't really know why I would need a yellow one unless I'm outside taking pictures. That's probably the only time I would use this. So yeah, let's get into the ring light. Like my light is so trash. Like if the ring light was on right now around the camera, it will look like a whole studio in here. So I'm actually probably going to put this together and just put it in front of my of my camera just so you can see the lighting here rather than doing my backdrop thing because I kind of just move my backdrop around and I don't really feel like moving it back to show y'all the before and after. So sorry. So when I do have it all set up and plugged up, I'm just going to turn it on around my camera like this and y'all can see. Well, y'all, I'm sure y'all will see the difference. So let's get into that y'all i'm also standing up while i'm doing this so please bear with me because i'm trying to balance everything and talk to y'all and put stuff together and it's a lot so don't judge me how do these even go on 
give me one second. All right, so the little filters, they just clip around the outside of the camera. I mean, outside of the ring light. So just line it up and clamp it together. Y'all, my lighting is so trash. Like this is upsetting me and my homegirls. Okay, so the first one is on. I'm trying not to break nothing because I'm good for breaking something. I got the third one on. So it's a really easy install for the filters. All right, all of them are secure now. Okay, so they only have seven steps on this and the other like four is telling you how to install stuff on here. So I'm just going to take it upon myself to install <laughs> this ring light. So I believe we just, oh, we gotta unscrew it at the bottom. There's no click to listen for when you are installing this, especially right here. But you just wanna make sure it's sitting on top of this little silver piece and then we're going to retwist it back up okay if it's a little crooked it's okay I'll fix it off camera but I'm just going to lower it now a little bit because she a little high I just want y'all to know when I film videos, I always be in shambles. So be prepared to look at my struggle in any video of mine that I post. So taking this ball head, I don't really know how this works. What do I do? Is it this piece? What in the hell? All right, these little gadgets are so tricky. They don't even tell you how you're supposed to use them. I'm gonna show y'all a little bit up close. And this is what I mean, my lighting is trash because like this light, let me show y'all the light I have right now. Let me just show y'all so y'all know the struggle, okay? Okay, so as y'all can see, my lighting is trash. Like when I tell y'all my lighting's trash, y'all can see it for yourself. But this is what I've been using. It's like a little selfie tripod basically for using your phone to record videos or take pictures or whatever. So it's a very, very small light. It's literally probably like five times smaller than my ring light that I just got. And I also use two small selfie lights, which I'll show y'all right now. So these are the selfie lights I've been using. So these are also like a million times smaller than this new ring light. So yeah, I used to use three little small selfie lights to film videos. Lighting was always trash. I literally just figured out different camera settings after like how many years on YouTube. Yeah, on my other channel, I've been on YouTube for a while. I'll list that above and below in the description box. But anyway, I'm just showing y'all up close this little piece. Um, I'm gonna go a little far back so y'all can see how to use it. This little square piece right here slides right into this little compartment type of thing on the ring light. You just unscrew it to get it in there and then screw it back to tighten it. And then as far as the top piece where the camera will sit, you just untwist this little, this little thing on the side that's kind of loose. It's not loose, but it's loose so you can twist it, I guess. Once it's basically as straight as you can get it, you're gonna tighten this piece back up. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. So once you tighten that, then this doesn't move. Gotta figure out how to make this tight. Anywho, everything's sturdy now. So I can go ahead and put my camera on it if I wanted to. Um, I'm not gonna put my camera on it for the sake of this video. The last thing really is to just plug up the ring light with this little adapter. So this is my adapter piece, I guess, for the ring light. Plug it up and then it, tw does it twist to lock? Yes, see this is smart. It twists to lock and now I'm just going to unravel it so I can hook it on up we can see how bright it gets. I think it looks pretty straight. To me, it looked like it was leaning. I don't know if I fixed it. It probably needs to be turned a different way. But this is just for the sake of the video. I'll fix this on my own time. So let's just get into this light. Woo. Wow. This lit up my whole room. It's over. 
So I'm about to just put it around my camera just so y'all can see the different lighting. It's no settings like one, two, three, four for the dim and the brightness. But you know, that's okay. You ready? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh no no. Alright, here goes nothing. I'm just gonna turn it on. That's literally right after I click it on. And boom see already we already looking better and it's only like the second level so i'm just turning it slowly so y'all can see that's like three basically four five like we in here y'all it's on and popping for these videos okay what i'm about to give y'all hello story times and i'm just slowly turning it on though so y'all can see like don't i look brighter I like that. Ooh, Jesus, goodness gracious. I don't even need no room light. I just need a ring light in the corner. So I'm just about to turn it back down. I like it. I would probably film on something like this, you know, on this level. So you can see me, you know, I look nice and lighted. If that's a word, do I look lighted? Now that I think about it, I kind of want to try the, the orange filters just to see if it gives me more like a you know a bronze glow you know what since i'm doing this video i'm just gonna go ahead and show y'all Ooh! so now i just put the orange filter around the light and i think i might actually use this instead of the white lights like it gives me a little bit more saturation to my skin instead of just the white light so this is how i set up my ring light video was trash because the lighting was trash but it's okay because i got this ring light now and i look official so you know um the only thing the only thing that i probably would say i wish that this ring light had was like a little leveler so you can see if everything's you know even and proportionate but aside from that the stand is very small um it doesn't take up a lot of room like the regular stands which i really love because my stand it just it brings a lot of complications when I'm filming and I have to get up and move around it. With this ring light, it's very small and compact, so it'll just stand and you ain't gotta worry about, you know, maneuvering around it, knocking it over and things like that. Um, so yeah, that's really my critique for this little newer ring light. And of course, y'all don't know, I actually got it on sale for like $60. I think the original retail price for this light is like $150. But when I bought it, it actually said it was $99, but I ended up finding like a big sale. I don't know, Amazon alerted me and was like, hey sis, we got a deal for you. You've been saving this ring light in your little wish list for years or months or however long it's been. And we got a sale for y'all. So yeah, I got this ring light for like $60, which I am like more than, I'm more than happy that I found this when it was on sale for that much. Like, and I got free shipping. Come on now. So yeah, y'all, um, hopefully I touched everything that I wanted to touch. If not, I'll just put any extra details in the description box. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited now. I'm going to be filming a lot more videos. I don't have to worry about my lighting anymore. Like, I really could film in the dark and my ring light will just brighten up the room. So, newer, don't ever take this off the market. Um... There's people making YouTube channels every day and they're probably looking for good lighting and I definitely will recommend this light. I haven't even used it except for in this video and I already am recommending y'all to go get it. Like, y'all, I'm really about to get these videos popping. Like, the main thing I was waiting for was a good ring light because my lighting setup, as y'all can see, I used three little small last lights that really didn't do nothing for me. I mean, they helped for, you know, the amount of time that I needed them to, but lighting was just trash and it was... It was making me a little bit less motivated to film videos. So I'm about to get back into my painting on this channel. I'm about to get back in. Well, I'm about to get into a lot of things because this is a new channel that I started. So you can see like a little bit more, you know, into my life, my personal life and things I do on a regular. Um, if you aren't subscribed to my old channel, go ahead and subscribe. I still will be posting that type of content on that channel. But this channel here, my Zarya Shakira channel, is just for me and my personal life and the things I like to do outside of hair and makeup. So, you know, if y'all want to see what I got in store, go ahead and subscribe. I hope y'all kind of like this video of me showing y'all how to put this little ring light together 
and my thoughts on it. Be on the lookout for all the videos that I have in store. I thank y'all so much for watching today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!